perioritis. We can see some fine lines in the upper lip and in the lower lip, white cutaneous lip. I'd like to address these areas with some Volite using a 25 gauge cannula. Before injecting, the vessels that I'm concerned about are the superior labial artery and inferior labial artery. So before injecting, let's look with ultrasound what we can identify. Left upper lip, we can identify now with color Doppler, the superior labial artery. We can identify teeth and superior to the superior labial artery, we can see orbicularis oris. So I'm placing my probe now in a more lateral position going towards the modiolus. And the vessel, the superior labial artery is more superficial. But as I advance with my probe in a more medial direction, we can see that the superior labial artery, a fairly large vessel, is located deep to orbicularis oris. So what I'd like to do now is just have a look in the cutaneous lip and see whether there are any vessels just superficial to orbicularis oris. And the zone is clear. While I'm on this side, I'm looking now on the lower lip and seeing if I can identify with color any vessels because I'll be injecting a small amount of volite in this area and we can see an artery that's pulsating line superficial to orbicularis oris and that's just inferior to the red vermilion. and another vessel as I'm progressing more medially. Very tortuous, the inferior labial artery, and we can see it present in the lower lip. Okay, so let's inject the left-hand side. What I'd like to do is a technique that I learned from Dr. Peter Cullen called the platform technique and place a layer of volite just gently in the cutaneous upper lip to give some support. I'm hoping to inject superficial to orbicularis oris. So the aim is 25 gauge cannula. coming straight to the filtral column, not fun, and tiny amount of volite. Placed as a layer to support the upper lip, the platform technique. And it's not fun. We'll wait for some of the local anesthetic from the ball light to take effect. Well done. Well done. Good job. Well done, well done, well done. Good, and now I'm gonna come to the lower lip.
Yeni yeme kanalına azmi. Good job. Well done. And you nearly finished. Good. Let's now have a look at the left upper lip and lower lip with ultrasound. So let's start with B mode. And we can detect the volite superficial to orbicularis oris. Let me just double check with color what our vessels are doing. We can see on ultrasound that the superior labial artery is intact and has not been impacted by the volite. The volite is found in, on a more superficial plane and we can see increased vascularity in the near field or superficial to orbicularis oris and that's because an injection has taken place. But the vessel is pulsating beautifully. Let's now look at the lower lip where I've injected and see if we can see the inferior labial artery, there is a vessel present that we saw before injecting and it is intact. It is coming from inferiorly and making its way up to the lower lip. But the volite has been placed in a subcutaneous plane and has not disrupted the flow of the artery. Left-hand side completed.